Hello, welcome in this SAP video tutorial. Today we are going to discuss a very important activity how to get the open WBS report in SAP. So, basically, uh, work breakdown structure WBS is a part of our any project. Okay, if any project has been completed, then it's a concerned project and charge responsibility to close the WBS. Okay. <coughs> after completion of each and every activity so being a quarter in being a half yearly in at annual in you should watch these project if they are completed they are closed or not okay so how do you get this data in sap system uh, there is a transaction code cn41 okay we are going to execute the transaction cn41 okay See, uh, the next step is uh, select the appropriate project profile. So uh, from the drop down, you can choose the project profile. I'm choosing my first project profile, PS Info profile. Okay. So uh, in our company, uh, the system has uh, the SAP PS consultant has made uh, so many profile for different different requirements. So. So in the, your company, there is a this uh, PS info profile is also uh, developed and defined. Okay, and click on this continue. Okay. So what is the next step? Go in the dynamic selection. This is the dynamic selection. Okay. So this the triangles, uh, uh, red, blue, greens colors. This is the dynamic selection. <coughs> We are going on the dynamic selection. Go in the ORG unit definition. ORG unit definition. Select the business area. Okay. In my case, I am selecting the business area 1704. Fine. You can select cost center and controlling area, profit center, and all. Where so I am selecting this. Okay. The next one I am just going to select is the data on dates definition okay if you're not going to apply the data on dates definition then it's okay do not to worry about this okay but uh, i'm just uh, going to check the project which are created on 1st of january 2019 to 31st december 2020 fine and uh, I have selected the range okay and click on this copy fine and here you have lot of option if you want to choose once we create the any WBS or project then we have any certain definition mask for example this is uh, consumer mobility project then it should be start from CM if this is the Bharatnet project, then start from BBN. If this is a CFA project, consumer fixed, fixed access project, then CFA. External project, then it's EV. If civil project, it's CV. If uh, electrical project, it's EV. If, okay, in external project, EP. So if telecom project is TP, start from TP. So depending on the requirement of your project, you can... Uh, for example, it's a FA, so you can fill FA star, okay. For example, it's CM, then you can fill CM star. In SAP, there is a search criteria. I'm just going to fill the data in the FA star, okay. Only search for the CFA project, which are uh, which are made in this plant and created in such and such date. Click on this execute button. System will generate the report. You have to wait this. Click on execute. Next step is R F8. Okay. See. <clears throat> You have lot of options here, like actual cost, actual start date. Okay, 
for example basic star date budget business area okay few order class plan 001 okay order class plan 00 okay actual cost so these are the few important parameters which i just want to include in our report okay <coughs> fine and one more uh, is this this is the project this is the actual cost this is started this is budget this is the business area this is order cash plan 001 and order cash plan 00 okay so status one more uh, the one more is status system status i just want to include status you can include the status of the project it's very important status is selected in our reports and click on continue okay S system will apply the status okay <coughs> see so <coughs> for example <coughs> this is the project definition this is the wb level 1 wbs okay and these are the network elements so um to be more precise to select the criteria of the wbs go in the view object go in the select object types and deselect all deselect all click on the wbs element and choose the hierarchy level 2 to 99 because uh, we made the wbs from level 2 of the project definition level 1 is a project definition and level 2 to 99 is a wbs and click on the so all the wbs created in this plant within certain dates which are showing here fine so my main objective is to export the data export so go in the evaluation tab click on the export click on the export sheet click on the table okay choose the microsoft excel i just want to download this data in the excel <clears throat> to analyze which which wbs are still open and what are the reason behind the open uh, project okay this tutorial i am showing you is just for training and understanding purpose don't uh, compare the data of these wbs for any reference purpose okay <clears throat> One seven zero four test WBS. Okay. Fine. So this data is saved in the one zero four test mode. Fine. Now we can apply the filter. Okay. select this line and apply the filter on this uh, status tab fine see there are various status clsd means close release means in the release state crtd means in this created state okay 
so the WBS which are in the CLSD state are stand closed in system. Okay, for example, we are uh, contain CLSD all the closed WBS. Okay, does not contain CLSD, so we will remove the data of closed WBS. Okay, so all the WBS which are still open are showing here. Fine. So control C. We will <coughs> create search one more <coughs> jps underscore w cap is the WBS capitalization report data uh, and go in the WBS. I have selected all the open WBS select all the open WBS and upload from the clipboard system will upload all the WBS in on the clipboard and click on this execute the report system will generate the capitalization data okay for each and every WBS this is I am now this is approval year okay this is the system status okay these are the asset created with respect to these WBS okay so you can check all the data okay the last stage of the WBS is capitalize or not and uh, all the AUC cost AUC asset under construction cost should be capitalized in the WBS this is our main objective okay and after that we have to take we have to submit the uh, project completion certificate to the accounts and uh, project manager team project team and then we will take the permission and close the WBS but if any single activity like posting of the borrowing cost overhead cost and any activities pending then please do not close the WBS okay if you are thinking that in this project there is in future any work is possible then do not close the WBS okay so that's why uh, my main objective is to uh, this is the way how you can get the open WBS record and you should uh, monitor these activity at the half yearly basis at the annual basis or the quarterly basis at your end okay so thank you for watching this activity okay and if you really think this is a useful video please press a like button and share this knowledge with your colleagues and friends okay and if you are still new on my youtube channel ERPSAP team please subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon for my latest video updates okay so see you in the next video thank you for watching have a nice day